Okay, well now we're back down here, and it's pumping again. Now it's pumping. Now we have lava in here. So when the chunks are loaded, this will transfer. So we need to wait for this to stay loaded. So this is what we've got. We're going to make a world anchor. And to do that, it was just like how I had it set up in there. So, we're going to put gold gold ingots, I always call them gold bars, but they're gold ingots, on ev either side. Diamonds, like so. Obsidian, like so. And an ender pearl in the middle. And that's going to give us our world anchor. So this world anchor needs p a power source as well. So in order to power up our world anchor, we need ender pearls. So this world anchor will load a 9x9 nine nine chunk um, of blocks. So these machines will continue to power and operate when we're not in the nether. So we'll continue to get lava pumped into our ender tank, which in return is going to be pumped into the real world. So now we need to power this guy up. Each pearl gives you 12 hours. So if you if you don't have a large supply of these pearls, it's it will be a little bit of a challenge, but 12 hours is a long time. So it's kind of a, a nice little thing. It costs one to make, but these chunks are now going to stay loaded, and we'll be able to continuously have energy pumping out of the lava. And the, the biggest problem that we're going to run into now is running out of lava. But where I loaded in this seed does not seem to be a problem right now. I, I don't know how deep this is, but this is a lot of lava that I'm not going to have to worry about um, refueling for a long time. So that's a world anchor. That's it. Now these chunks are going to stay loaded. That wasn't that bad, right? That was relatively easy. We done did good. So now what we're going to do is convert all this lava into power so that we can use it for various projects. So stay tuned.